Hey guys, Armin Gun here today with a fun Valentine's themed five guns video for you all. Five plus one, by the way. And they are the guns that broke my heart. And not for the reason you might think. No, they didn't like fall short of high expectations. Rather, none of them belong to me and they have to go back to their rightful owners. So they're gonna be leaving the channel, which kills and it's gonna be really soon as well. Um, some of them will be gone for good. Other ones will be uh, returning and one in spirit just won't be leaving quite yet. We'll get to all that and more today. I'm gonna run through each gun on the wall. I'm gonna tell you my favorite thing about it and why I'm gonna be so sorry to see it go. And just when, again, you might see more of it because a lot of the guns you see here I haven't yet done full video series on it. Pretty much every gun that's gonna come across the channel is gonna get a full video series. That is a FPS style shooting video, a full breakdown assembly, and an overview that kind of shows you guys and gives you the history, the details, the specs, all that good stuff on it. So of all these guns, we're gonna be seeing that going forward. They're just not there yet. And uh, well, a little bit of housekeeping stuff we'll get to, but we're gonna cover it all. Anyways, the guns are on the wall. Let's go through them. Kicking things off from up top, we have the b and APC-9, this is, uh, this is the OG, the original one, were clear by the way, that was what I was doing there. And this one was on loan from Wolverine Supplies. Those fine folks up there, the little patch. Now I totally messed up my camera position. Um, and well, they need it back for some other demo stuff. So she's going back, not before I do my whole video series on it. And then when I return to Wolverine Supplies this spring, we're gonna do some, uh, well, some, a lot of fun with this thing. We'll do the full FPS shooting video with them there. Uh, coolest thing, why this thing is near and dear to my heart, why I'm sorry to see it go. <sighs> this is just a fantastic sub gun. b t makes crazy high quality stuff. It's so smooth. There's a bolt. Check out this bolt travel. It's just, it's so smooth. And when you get to the back end, you have a little buffer that kicks in. And that's what really dampens the recoil, helps make these things incredibly smooth shooters. This also has the super sexy b t telescopic stock, which I really, really like. That's gonna cover that one, guys. Get her back on the wall and get to the next one. PS90, that's this guy right here. We are clear. Pop a mag in, which is empty. This guy, how cool is this thing? Like GoldenEye vibes to the moon and back. I uh, I definitely dig this thing. Really nice shooter. This thing is chambered in 5.7x28. I should grab one of those. Boom, there we go. 5.7x28 by comparison, 9mm. That's what the uh, APC-9 was chambered in up there. That's that's those little guys there. Rocking little round, pretty much 40 gram projectile running at 1800 feet per second. Designed to be a PDW, personal defense weapon, one of the originals back in 19. 90. This was Project 90, which is what P90 stood for, and that little round was meant to defeat the body armor. So very cool, a very soft shooting, uncomfortable gun to shoot. SBR is definitely the way to go with this thing. It is super cool. And by the way, I've seen some guys mistakenly think this is a forward grip and then try and hold the gun like this. Not correct. See this fancy little swooping stuff around here, this little extra circled out section in the trigger guard there? That's to get your support hand in around like that. And this is a true ambidextrous gun. Ejects at the bottom, ambi selector, ambi charging handle. It's uh, it's pretty cool. And this guy is going because we're replacing it with a uh, <laughs> a P no shit 90, as in P90 without the S. And uh, pretty stoked for that. Thanks to Richard, the real deal movie arms. Go check him out. Personal friend and uh, supporter of the channel in uh, <laughs> in his own special way. Definitely appreciate getting access to some uh, pretty cool pews. Sad to see the civilian version go because it was a lot of fun. Again, near and dear to my heart, but it is gonna be back on the channel in a very real way. All right, guys, next up, the IMI Uzi. This is the OG, the original full size, a beautiful old girl with that parkerized finish. That was the OG Woodstock, which is QD, by the way. How sick is that? I didn't know that until I got this thing, but yeah, stocks just pop off. So again, this one's going back. It's on loan from Wolverine Supplies, so we're sending it. By the way, this was the uh, this was a real deal one, and we're actually gonna be replacing this on the channel with another identical gun, again from Richard, the real deal movie arms. Big thanks to him, and I love this thing because it has that slow chugga chugga 600 round 
well, not super slow, but very manageable, re or, you know, fire rate, pretty cool stuff. Just a legendary gun that's been kind of iconic in the submachine gun world. Basically, this was what the Thompson was for Gen 1 subguns. This was for Gen 2 subguns. Really cool stuff. Next up, the third and final gun that was on loan from Wolverine Supplies, and thus that's why it's going back, the AUG. Augie, uh, Augie Doggy, if you will. My dog is chilling out there while I'm doing this video, being a good sport. And the AUG, probably one of the most iconic bullpups. First one to really go mainstream, 1977, Austria adopted this bad boy. Steyr made it, which is an Austrian company. This thing has a folding vertical grip. We have a charging handle, and this is the coolest thing, a QD barrel. That's the barrel, pops right out. How easy is that for cleaning? Pretty solid uh, attachment with the back there with all those lugs. And that just literally runs right back, if I can find it with the camera here. Right back in, crank her down, and she's back in business. So, by the way, we'll show you the trigger pull here because it's not, this is probably partly why bullpups get a bad rep, but it's not as horrible as you would think. Kind of just broke. Reset, there we go. It kind of just, it's kind of just there. It's kind of, a, it's, it is a weird trigger. We'll talk more about that when we get, we get to the overview video, but there, there's the gun and she is beautiful. Actually, this is really cool. I might make this the thumbnail right here because this is pretty, pretty cool looking shot. Oh, getting tired from holding it out though. Oh, we did it. All right, cool. We're back. This goes back in the wall and we'll swap it out with the fifth gun. That definitely broke my heart. Hoorah, the DSR Precision DSR-1. This thing is chambered in 300 Win Mag, which is wild, wild caliber. Actually, not that wild. It's actually a multi cal system. You can get it in 308 and 338 Lapua Magnum as well. 338 Lapua is actually pretty wild. But this thing is a uh, chonk, chonky girl, pretty heavy. And this is actually a pretty old gun. This was kind of like the PSG-1 and the Walther W2000. This was designed in Germany for police units to be like a precision urban sniper rifle, uh, which is pretty cool. Again, it's bolt action where the other ones were semi-auto, but pretty slick unit. Woo, had to set her back down. She was getting a wee bit heavy holding an outstretched arms. We'll zoom in there and talk about it a little bit more. Very beautiful gun on loan to me by ArmTac or Hippo939, you check them out. He has some videos shooting this from the bench along with a bunch of other crazy cool and rare guns. And he kindly loaned this to me to do, again, a video series on it. So you will see the first non-video game FPS shooting of the DSR-1 by me really, really soon. And then, of course, we'll get into an overview on the gun as well. But guys, these guns are incredibly expensive and very rare. And I'm, I consider myself very lucky to have my hands on one, even for a short period of time, to get some content done with it. I desperately want to find a DSR-2 AKA the DSR-50, the 50 cal version, which is just a wild beast. Crazy. But it's been a goal for a very long time of mine to get one on the channel, so uh, here's hoping. Anyways, guys, the uh, the 50 cal, the Serbu pump action, the Chris Vector, and I guess the FNX tactical up there, and then again, this EDM arms. Those are all red herrings. Those are not, they're just here for you guys to look at. They're not guns that are going anywhere, at least not anytime soon. The last gun on the list that's not been talked about, that's on the wall, that little beauty right over there. Boom, Nighthawk Agent 2. This thing is, uh, this thing is pretty unreal. This, this gold finish is uh, really gleaming in the light here. Oh, this thing is beautiful. By the way, I forgot to show you guys the other two calibers, the AUG, the AUG, that's 5.56, and the DSR-1 down there, 300 Win Mag just to get you guys a better shot of it. Pretty cool. Anyways, back to the Agent 2, which is chambered once again in 9mm, which again also was the Uzi. Just a beautiful gun. So, so slick. So this gun was on loan to me from Black Box Customs along with three others. Uh, one of them is actually from one of the owners of Black Box Customs. And these all have to go back because they're all, you know, they're for sale and they want them back so they can sell them. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that the way I said it. And, uh, actually though, while I'm gonna miss this one dearly, the, uh, the owners let me keep one of his. So we're gonna have this thing kicking around here 
in just a little while longer. We'll get some shooting videos with this, a lot of cool stuff. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. That was my Valentine's Day special, five guns plus one, not this one, I guess, that broke my heart, you cruel, cruel bastards. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one, which will be real dang soon. Armored Gun, out. Oh yeah, also, all the usual things. If you like my content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at arm.n.gun, and the plus one for 2021, tell a buddy about my content. Best way to share it is to literally tell someone because that gets by all the algorithm crazy stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Love ya next time. Also for my Canuck buds, currently doing a Dixon.ca giveaway. Go check it out. Details on my Instagram. It runs until Monday, which is again like February 16th. So only a couple days. Wait, what day is today? Sunday. It ends tomorrow. Get in there, get your entries in. You can still enter in all the posts. Unlimited entries. All you do is tag a bud. That's it. Enjoy. Good luck. Catch you in the next one. Look at this trigger though. Oh.